Hey loves, it's your girl JJ Realtrix with La Rosa Realty and today I just wanted to share something with you guys. So at my brokerage, La Rosa Realty at Jacksonville, shout out to my brokerage, Mr. Dwight Anderson and Miss Diana Anderson, whom welcomed me into their family and that are pouring into me and helping me grow and develop into the amazing realtor rock star that I am. So one of the things that they are doing with us to prepare us for 2023, which I'm so excited about, is going over our business plan for 2023. Um, and I have clips of it here that you can see. It says, if you don't know where you're going, then you'll end up someplace else. That's that's not good. <laughs> you definitely want to know where you're going so that you can follow those directions and end up exactly where you were destined to go so one of the things that we were going over the other day was setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible know your why what drives you write it down understand it and believe it why so as a group we went over our why we also went over what happens if we succeed great and then we went over what happens if you fail now this is all about failure I've, i said all of that to bring it home here what happens if you fail? And I personally mentioned that I don't feel failure exists. Failure is a word that we use, but does it really exist? In my personal opinion, no. So I am reading a book by Miss Tia Coleman. Shout out to Manifesting with Mimosas. I had such an amazing time, you guys. I have always battled with my wild, fun, goofy side and my corporate side. And they're usually on two different sides of the fence. Like I have to separate them. You know how you, you cuss your friends, you know, cuss in front of your grandma. Like two personalities, two, you know, everything, two dualities. And I'm just so sick of it. It's just like, I am who I am. So when I went with manifesting over mimosas, there were billionaires in the room. Do y'all know <laughs> we was twerking and dancing and everything, just having a good time being who we are in front of everybody. And I just love that. So thank you, Miss Tia, for letting me know that you can be yourself. You can be your bad self. You can still embrace your culture and sit at the board table and be a boss babe i i so love that i resonate with that they always say find your tribe and love them hard y'all i have never seen this i don't see oprah acting like that i don't see this obama you know what i mean like people that we look up to i don't see that so to actually see it someone that's in my age that's in my city my state and to see that it can coexist, that was just amazing. But let me just bring it back into what we talked about. So I am reading Miss Tia Coleman's I Am the Prize, A Dream Chaser's Guide to Win in Life. I think you guys should definitely order this book. If you haven't ordered this book already, what are you doing? Order it. Order it. It is on Amazon. I have the link below. I just wanted to give you guys an excerpt of what I was reading. So this is chapter four. It's called Trial and Error. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. We all know that's a leader, right? So Miss Tia goes to say, what if I told you that failing was a necessary part of the process? Would you then embrace your shortcomings? There is no winner in the world who hasn't experienced their, their share of mistakes. Trial and error conditions you for future wins. Falling down, having setbacks, and being disappointed are all teachers on your journey. Let's go to the next page. You're not supposed to have it all together when you start. It's the journey that prepares you. I wish that I knew early on to embrace my learning curves. I wouldn't have been so hard on myself when I felt short, and I would have given myself more grace. If you're failing and learning, falling and getting up, then you are on the right track. Don't ever let anyone make you feel as though your, fall, your flaws disqualify you from growth, elevation, or transformation. This is one of my frustrations with some churches. It's upsetting to see young people get condemned and crucified when they are searching for salvation because of their past transgressions or the sins that they're currently struggling with. The church pushes people away when they should allow grace for trial and error. Life is all about living and learning. Embrace your mistakes, learn from them, and then apply the lessons you've learned to your life. That's how you grow. Trial and error builds your character, strengthens your endurance, tests your stamina, and expands your capacity. Experience is the best teacher. So that's what I wanted um, this little segment to be about failure. As long as you are learning, did you really fail? I honestly feel like failure is a word that we can use to describe something, but in actuality, does it truly exist? It does not. I do not 
believe that failure is the end, period. Because there's a continuation. It's what do you do after that one failure? You know, you continue. So it's not really failure, period. It's I failed at this or that didn't go so well or I learned this. And then you live to see another day. You move on. You make corrections. <laughs> so I hope this um, resonated with someone. You guys, um, life is all about living and learning. And instead of calling them failures, just say I'm learning. I'm learning. I learned not to do this. I learned not to do that. I learned to do this better. Um, why do we Why do we leave it as failure, period? When we're living through life, we're learning. 